In this video, we are going to discuss about AWD control checkbox. Checkbox allows us to select multiple options from the list of available options. Checkbox is represented with the help of a small rectangle. So this is nothing but checkbox. Every checkbox contains some label. That label describes information about the checkbox. The best example for this checkbox is select your hobbies. Uh, playing cricket. So that is first checkbox. So this is nothing but checkbox. And the corresponding label is playing cricket. So this is nothing but label. We know what is a label. Label means a string of text. So this label describes this checkbox information. So every checkbox is associated with a label. So this label describes what is checkbox. Uh, let us assume that we have one more option that is reading books. Let us assume that our second hobby is reading books. Next let us assume that third one is watching movies. So watching movies. So here we have three checkboxes uh, where uh, the second checkbox label is uh, reading books and third uh, checkbox label is watching movies. If you click on the checkbox then tick mark will present in the checkbox. Again if you click on the checkbox then this tick mark will disappear. So the state of the checkbox may be either on or off. On means the state is true. That means the corresponding checkbox is checked. Let us assume that uh, uh, these three are our hobbies. So if you click on this checkbox then we will get tick mark. If you click on this checkbox then we will get tick mark. If you click on this checkbox we will get uh, this checkbox. We will get this tick mark. So this is what is checkbox. Checkbox allows us to select multiple options. Let us assume that our hobbies are only the first two hobbies. That is playing cricket and reading books. So if you click on this checkbox one more time, then what will happen? Then this tick mark will disappear. So clicking on the checkbox will change the state from on to off. Again, it changes the state from off to on. Okay. So on means the corresponding checkbox is checked. On can also be known as a true. Okay. Whereas off means the corresponding checkbox is unchecked. <coughs> That means the checkbox is cleared. So it is also known as false. Okay. Uh, let's see the constructors of the checkbox followed by methods of the checkbox and then an example program to demonstrate AWT control checkbox. Uh, let's see the constructors of the checkbox. Totally there are three constructors. The first one is uh, checkbox left parenthesis right parenthesis. So this is nothing but empty constructor. Okay. So it will create a checkbox with no label. So here label won't be printed. Okay. So this is the advantage of the first one. So it creates a checkbox with no label. Okay. Let's see the second one. Checkbox of string str. So it creates the checkbox with the corresponding string as the label. Okay. This is that example. So here we have checkbox and what is the label here? Reading books is the label. Here we have checkbox and watching movies is the label. So this label is nothing but this string. Third one, checkbox of string comma boolean value. So here the boolean value may be either true or false. So true means by default we will get this tick mark. Whereas false means we won't get any tick mark. Here the default value is false. What is the default boolean value? False. So false means we will not get any tick mark. Okay. We will get empty checkbox. Okay. If you want, we can uh, set the value as true. Okay. So if we give true here, then what will happen? We will get tick mark in the checkbox. Le next one, checkbox of string comma, checkbox group comma, boolean. Okay. If you want to use a number of checkboxes in a group, then we will go for this one. Okay. We will discuss about checkbox group in the next control. Uh, in this example, we are creating different checkboxes. So all those checkboxes are not belonging to a single group. So that we have the checkbox group is null. Null indicates that there is no group here. So that we can select multiple options. We will discuss about checkbox group in the next video. Okay. Now let's see about methods of the checkbox class. 
the first method is get state here we can have two state values it may be either true or false so get state method returns state of the label if it is checked then it returns true value suppose if it is not checked then it returns false value like that okay so what is the get state here it returns state of the checkbox so get state method always returns a boolean value that is uh, it may be either true or false okay and the next one is get label so the name itself specifies the meaning it returns label associated with the corresponding checkbox so here every checkbox contains some label if you want to return that label then we can use the say get label method third one is set the state of boolean value so if you want to set uh, a checkbox uh, state then we can use a set state method here the boolean value may be either true or false so true means we will get tick mark whereas false means we won't get any tick mark what is the fourth one set label set label of string str so this method allows us to set a label for the corresponding checkbox now let's see this program first package import space java.awt.star semicolon in this example we are using paint method paint method is available in component class component class is available in awt package next one import space java.awt.eventstar semicolon here we are using item listener interface item listener interface is present in event package so awt is the parent package event is the sub package which is present in awt package event package contains item listener interface next the applet package the applet package contains the applet class the applet class contains init method okay next one this is nothing but for for the applet code we have to write the code within comments so these are nothing but comments the applet is the starting tag we have to use just totally three attributes code is nothing but name of the class name height and width are nothing but what is the height of the applet and what is the width of the applet so this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but height whereas this is nothing but width okay next one public class checkbox demo extends the applet implements item listener okay we know that <coughs> every applet class extends the applet implements item listener why because in this example we are performing some events so here uh, the corresponding uh, checkbox class implements which listener item listener okay next one here we are using three checkboxes checkbox c1 comma c2 comma c3 next we are using message string msc here we are using c1 c2 c3 in init method as well as in paint method so that's why on top of uh, uh, init uh, we declared uh, the corresponding checkboxes next one public void init this is the prototype of the init method next totally here we have three checkboxes the first checkbox is playing cr cricket c1 is equal to new checkbox of here uh, playing cricket comma true playing cricket comma true so what is the output now so we will get this checkbox here what is the boolean value true is the boolean value here okay so true means the corresponding checkbox will be displayed with tick mark and what is the label here playing cricket is the label so we will get label like this okay next one c2 is equal to new checkbox of reading books here we don't have any label i'm sorry here we don't have any boolean value if there is no boolean value then the default boolean value is false so false means what the corresponding checkbox will not be displayed with any tick mark okay so what is the label here reading books so reading books is the label okay next one c3 is equal to new checkbox of watching movies so here also there is no boolean value if there is no boolean value then what is the default boolean value false so that means uh, the corresponding checkbox will not be displayed will not be displayed with any tick mark and what is the third label here watching movies okay so it will be printed here okay next one add of c1 add of c2 add of c3 so once a control is created then we have to add the corresponding control to the applet or some container okay so these three controls are added now next here uh, we are performing some event on the checkbox if you want to perform any event on the checkbox then we have to register that control with the corresponding uh, listener interface okay here we have item listener interface 
for item listener interface here we have a method called add add, add item listener so every control should be registered with add action listener method so here we have three statements first statement c1 dot add item listener of this second statement c2 dot add item listener of this next statement for uh, space constraints uh, i didn't write that statement c3 dot add item listener of this so we have to add we have to register these three controls with these three methods c1 dot add item listener of this c2 dot add item listener of this c3 dot add item listener of this then only we can perform uh, some event on the corresponding control okay so next event init method is over next here uh, item listener interface contains a method called item state change the method okay we know what is interface interface contains abstract methods so whenever a class is implementing the interface then the corresponding class has to provide the definition for the abstract methods of the corresponding interface here item listener interface contains a method called item state changed method okay so we have to provide the definition here so public void item state item state changed event it is a method so yes and see are upper case letters and it accepts item event as the argument okay next here we called repaint method so whenever this repaint method is executed then the control goes to the paint method okay so if you perform uh, any modification on this events if you perform any modification on these check boxes then this item state change the method will be executed okay now let uh, now uh, let us perform some modification here let us assume that we click on this uh, second check box so whenever if you click on this second box check box then what we have any is uh, uh, control goes to the item state change method here we have uh, a method called repaint method so whenever repaint method is executed then the control goes to the paint method so this body will be executed msz is equal to initially msz is empty msz is equal to c1 dot get label so what is c1 this is nothing but c1 first check box what is c1 label playing cricket so this is nothing but our awt this is nothing but our applet okay applet so what is the first label here playing cricket so playing cricket uh, will be printed playing cricket plus and after that here we have space here so some space will be printed here next c1 dot get state so what is the state of the first check box here, here we have tick mark so tick mark represents it is true okay so here what we have it true will be printed okay next g dot drafting off we know that drafting method accepts three parameters the first parameter is the message this is the message here second parameter x coordinate third parameter y coordinate okay likewise msz is equal to cd c2 dot get label so what is c2 this is the second check box what is the corresponding label reading books so reading books will be printed reading books will be printed next here plus within the double quotation space so some space will be printed next c2 dot get state so what is uh, c2 get state here here we have tick mark here here we have tick mark in the second check box so it represents true value so here what is the state here is true will be printed next g dot drafting so g dot drafting method allows us to display this string first argument is this message second argument is x axis y argument is 180 so here uh, for the first line uh, 150 is the y coordinate for the second line 180 for the third line uh, we have some 210 as the argument let's see that one msc is equal to c3 dot get label here what is the label here for the third check box watching movies so it will be displayed next uh, some space will be printed next to plus c3 dot get state so what is the state of the third check box here we don't have any tick mark in the third check box so false will be printed okay so for that we have to use as what g dot drafting of msz comma msz comma let the x axis is 220 y axis is 210 okay next close of the paint method next close of this class <coughs> next let us assume that we click on the first check box so that it goes from on to off let us assume that we click on the second check box so it will goes from on to off then what will happen 
then what will happen playing cricket here there is no tick mark in the first check box second check box and third check box so what will happen now so playing cricket false will be printed reading books false will be printed watching movies false will be printed so here the point is whenever we perform some operation on the check box whenever we click on the check box then this item state change method will be executed in item state change method we call repaint method so whenever this repaint method is called then the control goes to the paint method and we will get the corresponding output so this is about check box control in the next video we will discuss about check box group control